Hello! Good morning. What was that? Okay, Kelly now. <laughs> Good morning. Call and have fun, that's what you get. I'm a little raspy this morning, so I'm drinking a nice cup of hot tea. What is this peach palate pal state? I peach think it's paradise? just country peach. It's divine, whatever it is. Divine. Look at his cute cup. You gotta turn it the other way though. Mm. I'm gonna burn my hands. It's the Pisces cup. It's my cup, which is his cup, because we are. Pisces, our and birthdays are coming up. Oh my gosh, so we just, are getting to be awesome age. Old. Uh, okay, on the back it says imaginative, compassionate, selfless. Yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm selfless. I don't, I feel like there's like a whole other layer to maybe your horoscope-ness. Like there's like what we are as a Pisces and then there's like a little like sheer layer of Colin. Well, I think that I'm selfless in the fact that I will do anything for the people that are in my world, in yeah. my circle, the people that I love. Yeah. But I'm an only child and... Yeah, we're not helping the person on the corner. I, uh, I, I, am, it, things need to go my way. This is not a Dr. Pepper. This is coffee. What kind of coffee is that? Just black coffee. Ice. Okay. Oh, because you didn't go to Starbucks this morning? No, I, I mean, I got to stay here at home. Okay, so let's talk about Starbucks in Seattle. Oh, Have right. you ever been to Seattle? I've never Starbucks. been to Seattle. Colin, to Seattle just, Colin just got back from got Seattle. Back last night. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not dressed up today for you guys. Um, but that's okay. Well, a lot of people can't even see, so. Oh, right. Well, if you great. can't see, that's even better. Because we're on day two of not washing hair, which is always the worst. The whole thing. Anyway, so <gasps> Seattle, Starbucks. There literally is a Starbucks every 100 feet. Well, somebody, started there. Somebody looked it up. There are 256 Starbucks in in Seattle, in downtown Seattle. Yeah, I mean, well, it's... 256. Did you see the mermaid? Well, it, like, mermaid. they think their logo started as the mermaid with the hair. I didn't see the mermaid. I did see the original one. We didn't go in because there was a line, but I did see the original There's one. There's a line? Mm -hmm, to go in the original one. And then we went to Starbucks Reserve. What's that? Special coffee? I mean, I think it's just more of an elevated coffee. I don't know. We got a flight. We got a coffee flight. It was I'm a sorry, lot of Starbucks. Coffee. I didn't know that happened. Yeah. It was really cool. How was your trip with Devon? It was great. How um, was traveling with your... Um, Miss White. Is that what you call him? <laughs> yeah. Is that his last name? That's what he calls himself. Yeah, White. His last name is White? Yeah. So he is Devon White? Devon White. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. And he's chocolatey. Mm. He's pretty dark. He is. Um, I had such a good time. We just laughed the whole time. He That's is definitely Miss White. Like, if we were playing the game of Clue, he could be Mrs. White. Right. Miss White. Miss White. Because we're not married yet. No. Um, Miss White. We had a really good time. We um, did the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Which, did you see that? Did it, could you see that I was on the Ferris wheel, or was, did it just look like went on my Instagram story? What did oh, no, I think I saw it. We did the Ferris wheel twice, which the first time I was terrified because I don't really like heights. Is it tall? It's pretty tall. It's not as tall as the one in Vegas, but it was pretty tall. And who was the other friend that you were there with? So that was Fallon. So that's um, Devon's friend, but I had met her years ago. I'm sorry, ago. What, is, what was the air quote? Well, because I met her years ago. Oh, okay. She didn't remember me because she, um, and we talked about this, she was in love with our friend Jordan. And so the couple times that I did meet her, she was kind of all about Jordan. And so... Jordan... Jordan Jake Jordan? Black Jordan, yeah. Uh, her Instagram name is the first black witch. I don't like it. Okay. Anyway, I don't so, like it because it's like black Jordan opposed to white Jordan or gray Jordan or whatever color Jordan. Her Instagram name is the first black witch. Okay. I just call her Jordan. Well, I, I think that came about because... There were a couple of Jordans in the mix at one point, and then... Okay. Is she like a normal Jordan, like J-O-R... D-A-N? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's not like one of those with a Y? No. Jordan. 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 Um, so, yeah, so we went on the Ferris wheel, and we went to a lot of Starbucks. We stayed at the W, which was super nice. I know. We talked to you while you were in your loungewear. It, uh, yeah, I, I discovered that I love robes. I'm going to get a robe. Because that's my vibe. It was nice to get out of the shower and you put on a lotion and you put on a robe and blow dry your hair. And 
Just lay around? Yeah. It was, it was comfy. It was nice. The girls love talking to you. They're so funny, though, because every time Devon would be out of the picture, they're like, Who's that? <laughs> I'm like, it's Devon. He doesn't have hair and he's wearing glasses. Well, yeah, don't be rude. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. The girls were definitely, because we FaceTime while we were out there, and yeah. the girls were definitely intrigued. Yeah, because of course, anytime Colin's with another man, the, they, they talk about putting people in boxes. Yeah. They just find a box and shove you in it. Like, anytime you're with a man, you're clearly dating, it's clearly a thing. Because they, they understand being gay, but we're, we're working out the details. Yeah, there's minor details. Like, they get that love is love and right. that Colin dates men. Right. And what was it? Savannah goes, well, I want to date a man, too. I was like, that's fine. Go for like, it, babe. Go for it. <laughs> Mommy's going mommy's gonna to be with a man, too. We're all right. with the men. It's raining men. Like in all actuality. It's raining. It probably would be a little easier if she dated a woman, you know. Men aren't the greatest. I, I don't I don't know down the path of the that is like a whole nother path of It's a lot of talking, I'm sure. It's a, a lot, lot of feelings. <laughs> it's a lot of feelings. Yeah. We already have a lot of feelings in this house. Right, yeah. <laughs> Whatever she's Luke. gotta do. Oh my god. So anyway, so yeah, so um, We do sing that song sometimes. You and the babies? I mean I put it on when we're in the car and I just really I don't know if that's appropriate. I don't know if your song choices with your I children know. are appropriate. So when we were traveling last year in Jamaica, there was a whole gaggle of girls and they were they were all together. My dad was like, Is there a convention? I was like, Dad, that's not a thing. Are they lesbians? Yeah, there's just a oh. big group of lesbians. Well they don't have master how do you know they were lesbians? They were all together. You making them out? Making out? Yeah, they were all together. And so on karaoke night, the one lady, her song was, I'm, I'm coming out. Ooh. I'm coming out. Uh -uh. And Olivia was like dancing front row. like oh. She was just like jiving with her. And then the next day at the pool, she's like, hey, you sang that song. And she's like, I did. And she's like, yeah. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> I know, it was the gaggle of girls. Gaggle of gays. Gaggle of gays. They were great. But my dad was like, I think there's a convention. I'm like, a convention of Your dad what? is so cute. A convention of what? What are they conventing about? Yeah. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, it looks like about 16 women who all want to hang out together. So, Tavia's dad, <laughs> his name's George, and he's kind of like old school, but he like just goes with the flow. Yeah. And he just tries to like, he just tries to like, he's trying to understand it. it. He's like, I don't care, but I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> What, what's he's happening He's definitely here? like, he's definitely, his, the layers of the onion have been pulled back and he's definitely like, yeah, cool. Oh, but I don't understand. I don't get it. Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? He needs, like, growing up, people would come to the, knock on the door and they'd want to talk about, I don't know, Jehovah Witnesses or Jesus. And then he would always have questions like, explain it and then I can do it. I'm like, dad, there's just no explanation sometimes. He's so cute. It's just none. But he's really... He's given it his all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just like, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he, he likes me. He loves you. Yeah. He's like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't really want a penis in my mouth, but you go for it. Yeah. He's like, I don't really get understand it. that, yeah. but I mean, you do you. Mm. And that's what you do. Yeah. So speaking of penises in the mouth, should we get down to the... Oh the my nitty -gritty. god, it's, it's a Tuesday the morning. Nitty -gritty of it's a Tuesday morning and you're already jumping in. Colin, let's just preface, Colin has been on a, a hiatus right. of love. Sexual hiatus. Yep. Yeah. But he is, I, I think he's, he's back. back. Which is actually probably pretty good because I think Samantha can attest to this. He's been I get a, little grouchy. a touch negative, a touch judgy, a touch snippy, a touch like meh, 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 meh. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and he's yeah, like, nothing, I, nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> and you're like, I think a lot's wrong with you. I feel like, I feel that. I feel that. Mm -hmm. Do I seem more relaxed? Yeah. Yeah. You do. So who did you meet? Um, Any so, suitors that are going to stay in our lives? No, absolutely not. Oh. Uh, Seattle has really cute boys. I'll just start with that. Okay. Uh, I met up with this husband couple that had just moved to Seattle a couple months ago from, I want to say, San Francisco. So what is Devon doing when you're just like, I'm just going to leave for a little bit? Well, he was first. So he, he, he met up with... So you're just sitting at the hotel? A, a foreign boy. 
that poppers, remember us talking about poppers? So this foreign boy was like, you need to bring me poppers, blah, 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 blah. So we went to the sex shop, got poppers. And then he met up with this boy and I saw pictures and he was cute. He was cute. He was probably as big as my pinky. He was cute. He was a little, he was a little bit musclier, but yeah, he was tiny. And then, so then I went next and I went and met. Oh my God, this is like a, this is like a roller coaster. <laughs> you waited in line until your turn? Well, no, it just kind of happened that way. Because we didn't have Fallon at this point. I was going to say, is Fallon just sitting there like, so I'm in the girls. No, she, no, everybody we met out there is like, she, well, and that's the thing too. All the people then, so we met this girl named Zara. Gorgeous, stunning. She's Zara May. Zara May? I don't know. Well, if you watch Shimmer and Shine like my girls do, there's a place called Zara May. Hmm. But they're all where the genies go. They're all they're all (laughs) sexually fluid. Like they boys, girls doesn't matter. Like like what I'm saying that I think that the world is going to be in 20 years. It's just they don't care. Like it's like I I like who I like. I want to sleep with who I'm going to sleep with. Yeah. So Fallon didn't care. She was like, "I'm down for a threesome if you want." I'm like, "Okay, if it comes up, let's do it." You know? Did it come up? No, it didn't come up. So I met. I don't feel like you could do that. I don't know. He'd it's on be my bucket so list. so nervous. He would not know how to even... He'd be like, are these knobs, dials? What do we do with these fun bags? I've played with boobs before. <laughs> Just not the virgin, you know? Yeah, So, anyway, they moved to Seattle four or five months ago from San, Diego, San Francisco, I think. One was a realtor. One worked for a nonprofit. Okay. One of them had a very large appendage. Oh. Very large. They were super hot, muscle boys. They had a really cute dog, like a little husky. So cute. Yeah. I just don't understand the like married thing, you know? That's what I don't get. They just passed me around like a piece of cheese. I don't know. It was great. <laughs> oh my god. And then, so after that, so that was great. And they gave us some really good recommendations of bars to go to that night. Oh, night. they're like, oh, parting gift, party favor. Right, yeah. Try out this restaurant. Well, I was waiting for my Uber, I asked. <laughs> and then. What? How mortifying for your soul. <laughs> You're just sitting there like, oh, my Uber will be here in six minutes, so where's a good place to grab yeah. a bite to eat? Yeah, pretty much. It's fine. And then um, then I went again and met up with this guy. This this He's very muscly. Mm-hmm. Very cute. Uh-huh. His name's Dan. Dan, Dan the man. Yeah. We just messed around a little bit. We didn't go like the full 100 yeah. yards. You didn't go have a home run. Right. Got it. You didn't have two home runs. Well, I kind of did, but... Oh, my yet. God. And then Devon went after me, so I met up with Dan, and then he this met is up with... Like, this is like a ride at Disneyland. He met up with two boyfriends. Two. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great trip. It was very successful. Oh, do you feel like, other than that, did Devon find, like, peace and tranquility in his searches? About what? I don't know. Weren't you guys going to just, like... Oh. I think we were just going to see like Fallon and and hang out and hang out and it was great. We ate good food. We went to this really nice sushi place one night. Um, we went out to the clubs. We danced. Well, nothing exciting like that happened for me. Yeah, how was your weekend? It was fine. I worked a lot. Um, just trying to kill life over here and make some money. Yeah. To support my habits, like these eyelashes, which look at them. They're a little Friday sparse. cannot come soon enough. So Zara, the, the girl Zara that May. out there, she her extensions. I thought they were. I thought they were strips, but they were like they were extensions. She probably did volume lashes. Yeah, they're like the boom. Yeah, yeah. So Sarah doesn't do volume lashes, mm. and nor do I think volume lashes are my thing. Right. Would you agree? I don't it need would probably be a little bit much for you. I don't need like what looks like a whole baby spider. Right. Flopping on my. Because you're not going to do like a. a strong cat eye or anything to like accentuate them no like a smoky (laughs) smoky lid no we're not doing a smoky lid we barely i don't even put anything on my lids look if you're watching nothing you could throw a little bronzer in the crease i could throw a little bronzer all over this face right now why do you feel like you need contour i need to drop about five lbs same maybe eight same. So my weekend was fine, nothing crazy, just working a ton, missed you, because we didn't talk. Like when you're gone, you're just, you're gone. I know. Yeah. Busy. It was, it was wild. 
Um, it was wild. It was wild. I just missed you. So you just told me that you guys are going somewhere this weekend. Yeah, well, we're just going to take the girls and we're going to go to a hotel and just get away. Where? I think we're just going to go to the great, um, the Gaylord. Oh, yeah. Gaylord. It's nice. Have you been? I've never been. Janelle and Spencer stayed there. They said it's really nice. It's really nice and actually the rooms were really cheap. Really? Yeah, for two pay? nights. The rooms came out to like 160 bucks a night. I can't That's stay cheap. at the Westin. That's cheap. Yeah, so it looks like, oh, let's just do it. I don't know what's going on. So Well, it's probably like down season because I know that they do the big winter thing. Yeah. So we're just going to do that for Friday and Saturday night, Cute. which is why I might need you Saturday morning. Yeah. Because I have those darling clients that I've like, I've written six offers or two backup offers. It's just crazy. Yeah. So I might need you. Because well, um, I'm going to need you when I go to Mexico. Yeah. The leads were like ringing off the hook. I didn't even answer. Your leads are always ringing off the hook. Yeah. I got like 12 leads over the weekend. Didn't answer one. You know, who could, have, who could have benefited from that? Yes. So... That was mine. That's what we're, that's where we're at. I think, I don't know. I feel like I'm ready for vacation. Yeah. I need to go getaway. somewhere. Yeah. You've been working really hard. I just can't. You need a little breather, a little breather. I need a little breather. Otherwise break. you're going to get burnt out, you know? And then I get crazy. Right. Yeah. So I think I need a little break. So we're going to do that. And then we actually are trying to figure out where we're going to take the girls this year for spring break or not spring break. Well, when are you guys going to Florida? Cause they said something that's about Florida. December. Oh, December. Yeah. But I think. We were talking maybe Hawaii this summer. Oh, yeah. Scary? No, why? I don't know. Long flight? I mean, it's Bitch seat? Five hours. We'll just put the girls in the in the middle seat. Yeah. We'll put one girl with the sad family over here. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Don't move. And then fall asleep. I'm just going to fly first class for business. And then Luke can sit in the back with the girls. Tip, if you guys do do first class... Do you have to, if you buy, go first class, do you have to buy the baby seats too? I'm pretty sure. They're only really? two. Yeah. Oh, that would not be worth it. I know. That would not be worth you it. You know. But if you do, you need to go Hawaiian Airlines because they have the lay flats. Don't go like Delta or United because then you just have the, the big seat. You can't lay down. In tip, Hawaiian tip. Air, you can. Pro tip. Mm -hmm. You can lay down. Why? Did you fly first class somewhere? Oh, we did first class. On the, remember, I flew <laughs> economy out there. I was in the middle seat. <laughs> I was in the middle seat for five and a half hours. That was pretty rough. And then on the way back, we flew the first class. I was like, oh, thank God. I can, because we were taking the red eyes. So I was like, oh, thank God I can sleep. No, nope, it was just like the big captain's chairs, which is still nice, but I, you can't lay down. And I know, like, your neck's asleep. like bobs. Right. And then you're like, oh, you drool. I right. always have drool. And then inevitably it's like, right, right. And you wake right, up and you're like, right. oh, God, what happened? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> so anyway, pro tip right there. Okay. We're gonna do first. Maybe Luke and I will do first and we'll put the girls in economy with an iPad. How do you do that? <laughs> oh my god. I don't think you Oh, that's what I was gonna ask you. Do you know what I was gonna ask you? What? Because we're gonna do lunch today. What I was thinking is when we wrap this, should we go have lunch? Not lunch lunch. Should we go a fake lunch with Olivia? <gasps> At eleven? Yeah. We, we can sit with her? Yeah. We won't eat, because I think it's like like an egg sandwich today. Oh. Oh. We don't like it. Got it. <laughs> Gross. Okay. She'll be eating an Uncrustable today. Mm, okay. But we got, into, she, we got into a smattering this morning. She was irritated with me. Mm, Brady told me. I didn't, I didn't hear what it was about, but I heard that you guys got in a fight. Samantha! <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, she like just hates me. I'm convinced. That's not true. She's just pushing the envelope. She's a baby. Fucking envelope has been ripped in two. What were you guys fighting about? Um, literally, it's like just asking her to do something, and I, th I'm gonna get her hearing checked. At this point, you know, I'm gonna go out here on a limb <laughs> and say that you probably were the exact same way when you were a child. I just don't feel like I was. I'm pretty sure you. If we asked you, if we phoned a friend right now and called your mom, I'm pretty sure that she would say that that's exactly how you were. We are not going to do that. Right. Does this hair just look like a snaggle piece? Look at this. What do you mean a snaggle piece? It's like one strip of little snaggle hair. I don't... Yeah, that's like all of my hair right there in the front. This little <laughs> snaggle. Well, are we just going to, are we going to go short? I just... 
I mean, up here, we got it. Symmetrical. We need to all the way up here. In the like, back. I kind of feel like it looks like a mullet because it's like puffy and then like scraggly. A, a mullet. <laughs> it's not. It's really not working out right now for me. Anyways, um, <clears throat> boom cat, boom cat, boom cat. <laughs> Janelle yeah. has been working out. 40 times a day. Has she? I didn't even take my watch. You know what it is, the watch thing? I was like, okay, I'll take my watch. But then I was like, then I got to bring the charger. You have to bring a separate charger and remember to charge it. And like, that's just, it's just too much for me. So here's my thing though. Jan, if you're watching this, she rides. Oh, she watches the She rides, but then she has her iPad there too. So she says so she kills two birds with one stone. She like watches a sitcom while she does the Peloton. Okay. But are you listening to what the instructor's telling you? Like, not. get up, get down, faster, cadence. Like, I feel like she's just like. Yeah, I think so. Riding and watching. Probably. And so then the other day, she clocked three spin classes. Did she? I was like, girl, I wrote her. I was like, how many are you going to do today? She's like, I caught Mexico coming. I'm like, yeah, but how many episodes of America or Housewives did you just watch? And did you actually. Gotta look at her. We could probably check her Calverns and see if she's really doing these classes. Okay, let's dig into it. We're gonna dig because Jan has been riding excessively. She <clears> just <throat> loves the Peloton. Does she? Where are you, Jan? Janelle, 161. Oh my god, she's bringing 888 calories a day. Oh, just give it. Those were just walks and a high intensity tra training. Jan. Where are you? Maybe that was, maybe it was Saturday that she did it. Hold on. Nope, Saturday she did not ride. Wait. But there was one day. I don't remember what day it was. What day did you leave? Mm, Thursday, uh, thirst, Friday. I don't know. Friday. Okay. Indoor cycle. Okay. Indoor cycle. Okay. Indoor cycle. What's that 69 calories? What was that? Exactly. Where, where did you go? And she, that's when she was watching the housewives. She didn't burn much there. 170, 147, that was like a scenic ride. Yeah. This was her probably actual ride. Yeah. Is my thought. Her. Yeah, no, she's killing it because she's ready for, um. Well, I'm going to be a fat whale. So it's going to be fine. Just wear your, um, fishy Sarong. swimsuit. Oh, so you made like a cover up. <laughs> my robe. I'm going to take my robe. I would, I would put on a wetsuit right now if I was supposed to get into a bathing suit. Well, I don't think there's going to be any, like, cute boys that are going on this trip to Mexico. Okay, we're done with the coffee. Uh, so, I don't think I really need to worry about it. I'm coming up. And then we can just take, like, very, very, uh, like, posed pictures to hide oh, are my you, fat. Are you taking pictures while you're there? Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Jane's a bet. She's like, this is a perfect photo opportunity. I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. Photo shoot. So... Yeah, you know what I've noticed is you have not posted recently on Instagram. I posted all weekend. No, like posted. You storied. Oh, yeah. You haven't posted recently. Uh, because everybody likes the hoary pictures and my body's not like, like there. So I think your any, body is We there. don't have any fresh content to post on the feed. Just the story. So that it goes Coming away? Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon, Colin's going to post a naked. Right. Yeah, I have a couple more months before summer and need to try to snatch this body. I think you're doing great. Thanks. I'm down like, I'm down like three or four pounds, which makes me sad because I want to weigh more. She, and then Ryan was like, well, what do you want to be at? And I said, well, I want to be 175 but lean. I meant like, well, I'm back down to like 169. I was at 174 there for a while. Yeah. Well, so what, we're losing weight, but it's not. 174 was your... Was your dad, big daddy body. Yeah. In the winter. Right. Except for his big daddy body. Wasn't really that big or daddy-ish. I think if I get down to 165, like I'll have 165? abs again. That's where I was at. I was at like 166 where I was That's like best. so little. I know. I want to be 170, but I want to be lean. I'd rather be lean than bigger. So how do we get to 170 lean? Eat 17 chicken breasts for lunch? Pretty much. Eat really clean and work out. Oh. It's a lot. Yeah. I feel like my neck and my chin are just like blending today. Like it's just like one big straight thing. Well, why didn't you bronze your face? It was I did. I, was I just did an over bronze, apparently. I was editing last time and your face was bronze. It's very bronze. <laughs> very bronze. <laughs> I don't know. Do my teeth look white or do they look yellow? I think I have a cavity. In the front of my teeth. Is that a thing? Can you get a cavity? Is it in the sensitive? No. It's like a crack. What? 
You see? Oh, hold on, let me get close. I do see it. You didn't see cavity? I don't know. How did you get a crack in your tooth? I don't know. What did you hit in your, like, it would have to been, like, hard to look. <laughs> Maybe somebody had some extra equipment down there and I chipped a tooth. No! <laughs> oh, yeah, it was so funny. We were eating at this restaurant. <laughs> And this bread, the bread was okay, but and it was like, the bread. <laughs> it was like French bread and it was quite chewy, crusty. And I'm like, I'm gonna crack a tooth right now. Oh yeah, okay, here's the other thing is when you were gone, your your voice changes. What do you mean? When you're with Devon. <laughs> what do you mean? You just don't talk like you. Oh, I get a little ratchet. <laughs> he gets me ratcheted up. Yeah. You were like, I don't know what you said, the girls were like, what did he say? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We, we get we get ratchet, yeah. But that's how he always talks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not how you talk. And then when I get you on the phone, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like who is this? The fuck happened? Who is this? Where? What's going on with you right now? Yeah, no, I don't know. Give me like a normal sentence with Devon. What do you mean? Like how he would talk. <laughs> just, just. You give me these a hot guy. I'll be like, hold up now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up now. Hold up now. <laughs> okay, hold on now. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> and then he gets me going and I don't know. Like, I don't remember. Oh, so we went to- He school. says girl a lot. Girl, bitch, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, hey sis. Like that, yeah. Yeah, he's like the flamboyant gay. Mm, kind of, yeah. Voice wise. Yeah. Speech wise. Um, but no, okay, so we were at sushi, we were at that day's sushi mm -hmm. restaurant, and it, so this girl that we were with ordered sashimi, like just a slab of fish. Yeah. And Devon's like, I've never tried just regular fish before, can I try that? She's like, sure. First of all, it was like a whole 30 minutes, I couldn't breathe. He couldn't pick it up with the chopsticks. No, it's hard. <laughs> so he like flopped it on his plate, and he's like, look, it's still moving, it's still alive, sir, sir, this is still alive. And then he's trying to put it in the soy sauce. Fell in the soy sauce, soy sauce went everywhere. Oh my god. Then he couldn't pick it up to put it in his mouth. Then he put it in his mouth and he took a bite. You should have seen his face. He was like, oh hell no, that's disgusting. What, what kind of fish was that? It was just like tuna or something. But it was just like, there was no rice or anything. Right, it was, it was just, just raw fish. And right. he's like, mm, mm that is not my, that is my, not my jam. Mm -mm. Did you eat it? Yeah, I finished it. It was pretty good. <laughs> okay, so down in the one in Denver, the Shakakaya, Dan. Izakaya? Izakaya. Oh, okay. There, we got something and it was like the most divine of little fishes. The fatty tuna. Oh, probably. probably. And it was just, and then I was the same way trying to like pick it up and finally I was just like, got it? Yeah. And th tossed it in. Because <laughs> I can't get it and then it's like, well, is it inappropriate to just grab it with your fingers at this point? Some people eat sushi like just with their fingers. Like grab a roll. I know, that's how I started in my world. Oh, no! I okay, I gotta tell a funny story again about Devon. So we were okay. eating sushi one time, and I ordered edamame. And so the edamame <laughs> comes out, Yeah. and I'm eating it, and he takes one, and he just pops the whole pod in his mouth. Wait, like the bead pod? The whole thing. Oh, my God. And he starts chewing it, and I just, I was just watching. I was just waiting, and he's like... And then he's like, I fucked up, didn't I? I was like, yep, you did. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be the whole <laughs> What? It was How does so he funny. not know this? I don't know. I have no idea. Devon's crazy. Devon's a really great guy. He's so nice. He's sober now for like... Sober for... It'll be a year pretty soon. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah. He's just... Miss White. He's... He got a new job. He's killing oh, he's it. he's already got a job? Yeah, he flies out uh, for training next week. He's gone for a week in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New, New Hampshire. So he's gonna be there for a week for training and then he's working from home. Oh. So, yeah. Exciting. It's not good to work from home. See, That's what I told See him. that thing right there? It's called the refrigerator. It's my arch nemesis. We gotta finish this out. Because I <laughs> the will- The camera just cut off. Don't cut me off when I'm talking. Um, I will just eat string cheese like it's my job. All yeah. day. Hence why I'm in my big sweatshirt today. I'm feeling a little fluffy. Frumpy dumpy? Do I look frumpy? No. Yes, I, I should do. Try to put words in your mouth. This is my pride sweatshirt, as the gay, the, the gays call it. The girls, the girls call it. 
The gaze. The gaze. The gaggle gaze. My gaggle of girls call this my pride sweatshirt, even though it's not really the right colors. Yeah. It's close. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Tavia Talk. Were we a little lackluster? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, but my stories in in Seattle. Pretty. pretty I feel fire. like we might need to do like a Friday night talk. Why? I don't know. Because sometimes we get a little after dark. No. I don't know. <laughs> you can listen to us whatever time of the day you want. Yeah. Um, follow Colin. Yeah, Colin's Cosmos yep. on Instagram. We have our own Instagram now. It's Tavia Talk at Tavia Talk on Instagram. I still don't manage that. So she still don't does not manage that. Don't send any DMs because I won't get them. <laughs> I'm working on <laughs> all the DMs. I'm working on getting I'm working on changing that out. But anyway, yeah, follow us on Tavia Talk. Subscribe. On, subscribe. Download. Spotify, push iTunes. us. Comment. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. All the things you need to do to make us feel loved. Yeah. And that, my friend, is how the cookie crumbles. Is how this cookie crumbles. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll check you on the next one. Bye.